Hey, this is the landing page of a website that I built for a small business using the Mern stack. Clients are able to book facials, but if they're not sure which one they'd like to book, they can always click the Not Sure pop-up. Clients are only able to book a single treatment, but they can add various add-ons depending on which facial they booked. The main page also contains a Follow Us page and a Contact page with a Google Map. A footer is also shown. The client's shopping cart shows the client's selected treatments and add-ons with their subtotal price. Clients can, of course, remove any items at this stage, as well as select their desired esthetician. Or if they have no preference, stay with the default. Next, clients can search the availability of the selected staff member and select an appointment date between 12 hours and 60 days ahead of time. For this example, let's choose Tuesday, January 19th, and move on to select an available time. Let's go with 1 o'clock p.m. and enter our personal information. Here, I'm going to enter in a test first and last name, as well as my own personal email and phone number. I'll add a note as well and move on to the payment details. This page is an iframe created by Square that ties with its point of sale system. The Square Sandbox page has no customers yet, so I'll add some test credit card numbers and check back here later. Let's submit this payment info and move on to the final confirmation screen, review all details, and click Book Appointment. Now the client should receive a confirmation modal, as well as a text and email alert with their appointment details. The client can manage appointments by following the text link and authenticating their account. If the client replies Y to their text, that appointment is confirmed and they should receive an automated response. The client also receives reminder texts both 24 hours prior to their appointment and an hour prior to their appointment via a cron job that runs every minute and checks all upcoming appointment times. The email, created using the MJML templating language, contains appointment details, cancellation policy, and company information. The Add to Calendar link can be used to add the appointment details to a calendar app. The consent form link sets a temporary consent form cookie associated with the client and redirects them to the consent form page where they can fill out a series of questions, read the consent form policy, sign the form, and submit their details. Now if another client attempts to book an appointment at the same time with the same esthetician, that time will be blocked and include a minimum buffer period between appointments. We can also see that the submitted credit card can be reflected in Square's point of sale system. Let's go ahead and create an account. I'll enter the same personal information as earlier, create a password, click create account and you'll see that I'm redirected to the main client dashboard page. Here I can immediately see my upcoming appointments with the ability to either add that appointment to a calendar app or to cancel that appointment if I so choose. I can also see any past appointments as well as fill out a new consent form at any time. I also have the ability to download a copy of my latest consent form as a PDF. This PDF is rendered at the moment I click the button and includes all my entered information neatly formatted and the signature I entered at the time of submission. Clients are able to log in by either entering an email and password for created accounts or via Facebook OAuth, which is live and configured for this website. Here I'll quickly demonstrate this flow to Facebook's redirect URI via my own Facebook account. Now let's check out the administrative side of things. Here, I'll log in as Randy Tsunami, an administrator and esthetician here. The admin dashboard page shows recent activity. I can immediately see that someone has booked and confirmed an appointment with me, as well as updated their consent form. I can also filter through all clients to view any client's profile. Here, I can choose to delete a client or view and download any available consent form as a PDF, which is formatted just the same as the client's version is. I can also view and cancel any client's upcoming appointments if I so choose, view any past appointments, and update the client's profile photo. Here, I can either choose to upload a local photo from my computer, for example, the stock photo of a cat, or, if that doesn't suit my fancy, I can always take a photo with my own webcam of my cat. I'll hit Confirm Photo and the associated client hero image will update. Now, let's log out of my admin account and log in as my test client account to make sure that the update has worked. And it has. Cool. As a staff member with an admin role, I can update any staff member's profile picture. I can also view information related to any staff member's upcoming appointments, as well as delete those appointments. I am able to view past appointments as well. I can also delete staff members, as well as add new ones. For this example, I will add a new staff member with a temporary email address from TempMail. I'm going to copy the generated email address and input it along with a set of test information. I'll assign some roles and press Add Staff Member. Now I can see that the test staffer has been added to the list of available staff members and I can view his individual profile. I hope he likes cats because I'm currently in the process of adding this fantastic cat stock photo to his profile. Looks good.
Going back to the new staff member's temporary email account, I can see a new email with a temporary staff password that will allow him to log into his account by creating a new permanent password. I'll log out of Randy's admin account and follow the link in the email to log in as a new staff member. Now, let's copy the generated email and input the temporary password in the email sent to us and press login. Now, I can enter a new password. I've got some form validation going on here. I'll click change password and now the new staff member is logged in. Look at that, his very first notification. What's that, a cool cat profile photo? Sure is, great success. Admins can also view appointment schedules in a calendar format. If they click any appointment block, they can view more information about the appointment or even cancel it. Admins can also toggle through various schedules besides their own, and the calendar will reflect the associated staff member's appointments and personal events. If any space on the calendar is clicked and dragged, a Create Appointment slide-out will be triggered and populated with the associated dates and times. Admins can also create personal events as reminders or to block out clients from booking those times. For example, here we've added a lunch personal event at 12.15 p.m., which we can update if we want to take an all-day lunch, for example. This will now change the blocking on the calendar itself and be reflected in a notification. However, if we start second guessing ourselves, we can go back to the personal event block and cancel the all day lunch. We'll also receive a notification that the personal event has been canceled. This staff calendar is also available in a monthly format in addition to the weekly format and a daily format as well. Now, let's demonstrate the admin booking flow by creating an appointment. The form will auto-suggest available clients and auto-populate fields based on user input. The dates and times of the appointment are set by the calendar selection, but can always be edited on the form itself. The associated staff member can also be changed in the drop-down. At this point, appointment notes can be added. Any treatments and any add-ons can be selected at this stage from the services drop-down. Treatment durations and prices are reflected upon selection. Admins are free to combine any treatments and even book multiple appointments. Admins can also remove selected treatments by pressing the X icons. The form will automatically search for available salt cave times before, during, or after the selected appointment time. The salt cave is an additional service that does not require a staff member. At this point, admins can book with or without a credit card on file. Admins can either enter a new card or select the saved card only if an authenticated user has consented to save their card for future use. We'll book without a card for this example and receive two texts and two emails confirming a facial with a staff member and a separate salt cave treatment before the appointment. These will immediately show up on the associated staff member's calendars as well as the salt cave calendar. These appointment blocks can once again be clicked to view additional information. Our activity page will reflect notifications related to the appointment bookings as well. This website was built with responsive design in mind and reorients itself to fit smaller screens. If you'd like to find out more about the project, which was built with the Mern stack, you can visit its GitHub repository, which is found in the description below. Thank you for sticking around, and thank you for watching.